Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to hear. Yeah. Well, the, the first kind of connection between heaven for me was when my grandmother passed away, mm -hmm. my nana, mm -hmm. and she had um, been living with us because um, her health deteriorated very, very quickly. And, you know, within a few months, she actually got moved from our home into hospital for the last mm -hmm. part of her life. But while my parents were in hospital with her as she was crossing over, um, a uh, neighbour was looking after me mm -hmm. and um, my my nana came to my bedroom and sat at the bottom of my bed, oh my gosh. which is pretty much impossible because they could see her obviously dying, but she was actually in my room. So that was like the first like communication with heaven. But for me, I think that was the point where my third eye, my psychic senses, kind of opened up to everything else which is unseen. So it was a, it was a bit of a journey between being four and seeing your grandmother to seeing spirits everywhere you go. Oh my God. You know, and, you know, at night time when you went to sleep to see things moving. And it was, it was very intense. But... Through the years, it got less and less, to be honest with you. And then I, I, I started to collect crystals and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know, just as a, a hobby. And then I discovered angels. And when I gave the angels my free will, I welcomed them in. Mm -hmm. That's when I started to see them. Wow. So you can physically see them? Yeah, I can see them physically at times, yeah. Wow, and do, does that happen all the time, or is it like no? No, I, I am in control of it now, which is fabulous. Okay. It's okay. it's so cool to think that I always sometimes, you know, say I'm a bit like a television. You can turn me on, or you can turn it off, or like okay. broadband. It's like a connection. Wow. And you know, because I'm still, you know, a 24 year old guy that wants to go out and have fun <laughs> and and things. So. Yeah, I've, I've managed to find a way of switching on and off. But the voice of my angel never stops. My personal Your angel personal is always angel. there. Wow, okay. That, that must so be that, pretty full on. It's, no, he, he's not interfering in any way. But if I was just to say something in my head, uh -huh. you know, I've got the answer straight away, which is really cool. Wow. So yes. I guess that brings me on to a question, which is, does every person have their own one guardian angel that looks after them? Most of us have two. I, I think everyone probably does have two. Okay. But I, I mean, I solely see one. You have a guardian angel. It's, it's, it makes it easier. But a lot of us do have two okay. angels. But the day that you were born, I believe it was your spiritual birthright to have this angel right. who will be with you, you know, from that point there right until you go home home for me is heaven wow. so you know that angel will be with you this whole journey this whole journey wow yeah that's so cool it's I cool that. i love that um and yeah i mean it's just really really interesting um and do you so you hear your angel that's with you all the time but do you see yeah him, but you don't see him all the time but you can see him sometimes yeah, I mean, he will show himself to me if I request it. But you know, for me, I, I'm quite a. I'm. I am. I'll tell you how it happened. I never ever seen my angel for for a long time, uh -huh. but I always knew his name and I could hear his voice. And in meditation, I would see maybe the light of uh -huh. him, uh -huh. but I could never ever see my angel. And then, um, I ended up taking a couple of years out from doing this kind of thing, yeah. and I. Uh, one night decided I was going to read an angel book in bed again and, you know, connect. And I, I was reading my my um, book and, and things. And as I opened up the book, the oddest thing happened. Um, a feather fell out of the book. Oh, my God. Right, which was pretty insane. And, and um, when the feather hit my chest, the whole room, because I was lying, you know, so it hit my chest and then the whole room just lit up. It was like, and I was like, honestly something out of a movie that like exaggerated, you know, light. And I was like, okay. And then all these angels started to show up in my room. Oh my god, this is intense, you know. 
And, um, but anyway, I, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> and um, I woke up in the morning and I looked up and my angel was standing there in full physical form. Oh my God. And do you know who he looks like? It's so funny. Obama. <laughs> Think about Obama. Honestly. <laughs> really? It was like, he has, he has darker skin than Obama. He had this, think of a darker skinned Obama, maybe with a fuller face, and, you know, standing there with this, you know, um, armour. He had armour on, I'm not going to, but he didn't have wings, didn't have wings, but he had armour and he was standing with this light behind him. And I, as you do when you wake up, you go, like that, and he didn't disappear. And I was like, okay. And that day, the Scottish Sun phoned me and offered me if I wanted a job as wow. their angel whisperer. Oh my god! 